Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we are going to talk about Dungeons, the new Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition 2022 movie uh, starring Hugh Grant and Sylvia... Oh, I can't remember the last name, sorry. Uh, the uh, very nice young lady who was in It 1 and It 2. Um, so this is a real Paramount film. It's coming out, actually... It is a film coming out in 2022. There's some serious money behind it. It's probably 50 to 150 million dollars are being spent to bring this to spin this movie up. Um, I, I, yeah, I am hesitant to say real movie because I'm not sure there are going to be any real movies going forward. Uh, there, it looks like we're going to have every movie will just be a TV movie now, right? I don't, I don't really consider those real movies. If you grew up the way I grew up, when you hear the mer, the, the term television movie, TV movie, you know what it means, right? Movie of the week, you know, uh, something that was made, like, it's not a blockbuster, okay? You know, like, television movie doesn't, it doesn't uh, excite anyone, right? And because they're really, they're, you know, what, like, what are famous television movies? Who knows, right? Movies that were made specifically for television, right? Well, that's what the entire industry is looking like it's going to be, Right? Today I want to talk about the 2022 movie and explain why we need to be very incredibly tempered on our expectations for this movie because it looks like there isn't even going to be a an arena in which it can succeed, okay? I do think that the Dungeons & Dragons 2022 movie has, it is looking like it has less of a chance to succeed than the 2000 movie. And that's very upsetting because we, I think we were, everybody was excited about the 2000 movie, and the 2000 movie had a chance to blow up. It had a chance to build a franchise. It is looking like there's no ability for the D&D &D 2022 movie to grow as a franchise. And let me let me explain why. So one, if you say that the 2022 movie is going to grow as a franchise, you are basing that knowledge on nothing. Okay, and here's why. There are no franchises that have been built on streaming, on, on streaming, and there is absolutely no evidence that the movie industry, the theater in, that the movie theater industry, will have the ability to to match even the most moderate successes that the old movie theater had pre-COVID. All right. So let's let's dig into this, right? So here, the, the point of this movie, the point of this video is to say, hey, when this movie comes out, let's all enjoy it. Let's all, you know, drop in and inter engage with it um, as movie fans. But absolutely no one should be under any, um, th they should not have the hopes that this is going to turn into a massive fa franchise at the level of Star Wars, Harry Potter, Star Wars or Harry Potter. And the reason why I mention that is that's what we were thinking in 2000. Like, we're like, oh, this can be a huge hit. This can be a, uh, you know, a DC Marvel, um, Harry Potter, Star Wars level hit. And right now, we really need to check those expectations. And the reason why is if we have high expectations and then the movie just goes and, like, and does and fails to meet all those expectations, it can be very harsh for how people react to the film. Okay, and I think we should be very careful and tempered, tempered what expectations we have for the D and D twenty twenty two movie. All right, so the reason why we're talking about this today is I just saw my daughter told me this was true. But I had to see it for myself. I drove to the AMC theaters, the AMC eight, that was five miles from my house. I I moved to Pennsylvania with my family in 1980. I was 10 years old. I have seen hundreds of movies in this AMC 8 that I had went to. After 40, I have been watching movies in this theater for 41 years. And the theater is older than that. I don't even know how old it is. I can only tell you personally, I have, I have bought myself well over 100 tickets. And including my family, I bought hundreds of tickets, maybe even a thousand tickets at this at this theater, right? Um, and it is permanently closed. The sign on the door says, this AMC 8 is 
permanently closed. Thank you for your business. Done. Period. End of sentence. I think when when Dungeons and Dragons movie comes out, the there is a question mark on if there will even be a movie theater industry for it to play in. I think there will be a thousand plus movie theaters across the United States of America that never reopen because of the pandemic, right? And then beyond that, there may be absolutely no theaters for this to play in, right? Which means that the Dungeons & Dragons movie will become a streamer. Streaming movie. So, Zack Snyder's... um, Zack Snyder's uh, Justice League is a television movie. It could be bought... It could be watched for... On television, day one. It's a television movie, right? No television movie has ever created a franchise. Not one. And I... You know, and please, I beg you, correct me in the comments. I know you're not because there isn't a single one. No television movie has excited anyone to build a, you know, a a Star Wars, Harry Potter scale, multi-billion dollar franchise. It doesn't happen. Televisions, movies, the characters are small. The narrative is small. The special effects are small. They are small. The movies, the art shrunk to be contained by its natural container, which is television. Small screen, small vision, small art, okay? And the reality is, I think there is going to be big screen energy for the Dungeons & Dragons movie. There's going to be big screen vision for the Dungeons & Dragons movie, but there will be no industry to receive it. There will be, there's a very distinct possibility there'll be no movie theater chains left to show this film, right? Even if there are, if there is a movie theater industry, there is without question, it will be massively shrunk. It's, you know, the the amount of um, theaters that will be available, there's no possibility, uh, in my opinion, there are absolutely zero indicators that the Dungeons & Dragons film will be able to make 2.9, 2.8, billion dollars, which is what Endgame made, right? And Endgame is the most successful film ever created, right? Dungeons and Dragons can't match it because there literally won't be the theaters to allow the sales to happen, right? And streams, streamers do not have, they don't even have the metrics. The numbers are so low, they're ashamed to tell you what they are, right? So the reality is, we waited all this time. We were all excited for a D&D movie, but the reality is it's almost certainly going to land flat and hard. And the reason why is not because it's a bad movie, but because there's no industry, because there will either be no movie theater industry set to receive it or a shriveled industry set to receive it. A hard, hard reality, right? Now, what should our, our responses as um, fans be? We should do the best we can to be excited for the film, to watch it in whatever venue we can legally um, as soon as it arrives, and we should tweet about it and uh, tell our friends to watch it too. No matter, I, I would say that no matter what the quality is, right? We want to honor the time and energy that's gone in, but we need to check our expectations now. Because if anybody thinks that this thing's going to do bigger business than Harry Potter or Star Wars, Got another, got another reality coming, and I don't want people to be harshly, up, you know, to run into an expectation wall when it comes. Right? We should be ready now to understand there just isn't either ready. There isn't even the, the the movie theater industry doesn't even exist to receive it. That's our reality. I'm very sorry to bring you that news, but I also think it's important to prepare the D and D community for what we're about to receive. And I think that's the that's the appropriate um, response: is be prepared to support it. But also be prepared to not, also keep expectations real. Keep expectations grounded. That's my thoughts. What do you think? Do you think there's a possibility that Dungeons and Dragons will have the largest um, movie theater box office in history? How would we arrive there if you think if you think that's the case? I love your thoughts. Let me know in the comments below. Please consider liking and subscribing, and have a wonderful millennium.